did I hit record? I don't remember. Oh, it's a short game, decides to spirit in one session. No save games are supported. Good. I just need one more for Saturday. Hi, ah. storytellers, and welcome to Mary's Room. Uh, this is a little short game. I think it's just about an hour. It's a free game I found on Steam. And I figured since I need this for Saturday, I want to start a new game since we just finished up uh, Epic Story Typing Chronicles. So, onwards. I don't really know what this game is. I think it's just like walking around and reading stuff. I don't think there's actually... I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Okay. Bye. Uh, yeah, I, I... Okay. My keyboard isn't working. Let's try this again. didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Okay, apparently I glitched the first time I entered the game. That's never good when the game's broken right off the bat. Oh, that's cute. How do they change? Their eyes are open. Old to interact. I want to look at all this other stuff, though. Yeah, so this is going to be a more casual, kind of laid-back... California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. <laughs> Old picture. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What Which was one? I thinking? The redhead or the other one? I'm gonna assume it's the redhead. Whoops. Is that me? Oh my, my god. Bad. The hair. What was I thinking? My bad. I didn't mean to push that twice. Uh, is there anything else I can interact with over here? Uh, music's a little loud. Okay, I can crouch. I'm gonna sit on this chair. Pitcher. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Okay, so not your parents. No, that's her parents' room. Okay, and this obviously isn't your house. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. That is cool. Is that for outside, though? <coughs> Where's the music is a little loud. That's better. Ooh, okay. Oh, what's up? Alright, so could I... Okay, what's in this room? Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Aw, oh, welcome back, Callus. What? Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. But I wanna! Alright, can I go downstairs? I don't wanna go back down. 
Okay, we're not going back down. Okay, this apparently the only place we can go is this room. Again, it's a little, little dark. Ooh, I never did that where you mark how high or yeah how tall you're getting. Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, oh look, there's a journal. Hey, kill. Hi, Kelsey. Oh. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. Oh, Marie. She would not be all right. So, apparently, Kinsley, who we're playing as, has done something. Why did the room change? Takeout menu. <laughs> Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh, that's not good. Kitty cat! Bikes, books, towels, swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, <laughs> I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. Uh, he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. You actually went close to him? Yes, yeah, so I think this is all the game is. It's just looking around and girl. looking at Mr. stuff. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Uh, birthday. That's a phone? That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. Oh. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him Don't for what he did to her and up. Mr. Torres. Okay, obviously there's some bad blood there. I need to find the key. Oh, okay. A five figure number. Don't have that. Wake up when I'm famous. Ooh, that's a cool picture. And, um, hello! She wants I have me, a dream. Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. Mm -hmm. That's good. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Even your friend? Last hope. Um... Oh! I have a dream! Uh, April 13th, 2018. I think he's crazy. He keeps... Okay, that's hard to read. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me. If I didn't let Kinsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I got her tied up in here. Now... I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. It sounds like you got a crazy person. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. July 5th, 2018. What'd you do? What are you going to regret? July 7th, 2018. We need this. Beer, water, oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kin Kinsley. Uh, he should not be named. Shall not be named. Not today. Didn't you already name him? Have orange you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun? No. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. I don't really like oranges. I don't mind orange juice, but like Disgusting, oranges but themselves. Cheap. I got used to them Famous. after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. 
the vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay. Bumblebee! Oh, I wanted to see the cat. Vinyl in box. Damn. Sometimes it got so hot. This thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. Ooh. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Who? The Mr. Jones or Trevor? Marie always <sighs> dreamed about going to Europe. I'm gonna go to Ireland. I don't think she ever went. That sucks. Oh, I want to travel so much more than I do. But gotta get the money first. Gotta save up. Just like everything else in life. La La Land. Never saw that it. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <laughs> Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. Were you not talking to her? I never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Dude, you suck. Uh, desk lamp? Ooh, I turned it on. Why? Laptop. Alright, oh, I need a password. I don't have a password yet. Oh, is it this? Library? She must have written it down here somewhere. Password hint. I'm not a... Okay. So we gotta look for that and we gotta look for the case. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Alright, so you obviously had, like, abusive boyfriend and Marie was trying to help Mr. you. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Alright, so that must be Ever Marie. since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Why did he have a knife wound? She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring, is what she said. <laughs> Her. A weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? <laughs> who wants to be boring? Good question. Ring oh, by yes. Yeah. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. You don't sound like you're a good friend to begin with. I don't know why you'd be jealous. You sound like you don't want anything to do with her. I hated that thing. <laughs> I don't know how many Ruby Cubes I've bought and I've never been able to put Chemistry them back. holds no surprises. Love that. Is that cat being sucked into a black hole? <laughs> Turn on TV. What do we got? Ooh, what's this? Have you seen this man? Have you Drinks seen this man? Drinks of orange grove. <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Is that Trevor? Dude, did you get your friend killed? Is that what this is gonna be about? I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked I in, could eat that sparkly things he bought me. Oh, I could wash that thought gorgeous mouth. I took care of him, anything. He'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Why is your phone in this room? Okay, this is a little weird. I'm glad the girl's not she here. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. <laughs> one day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. 
I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Smoking final the words someday? Is that the world someday? Concerts. That's actually pretty clever. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Why are you so calm about that? Oop. Did I miss anything? I did miss something. Okay. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Why would you not tell her? Um, Mr. I've, Torres and Marie. I didn't remember if I had opened that or not. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. <laughs> I got no reflection. I'm a ghost. That's actually kind of cool. But at the same time, no reflection. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Food rescue. Fancy, growth. right? At the time, I didn't know where the I money guess. came from. You've said that. No, there you how do you not know where your money's coming from? I don't like hills. I hate hills, actually. <coughs> she asked Ouch. me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty In deal. It's Russian roulette and dough. utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Deal Marie, the cards you're dealt. My friend Marie, she got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. I like that. Why is your jacket in her room? There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Obviously not, because I have a feeling you did something bad. I'm not, I am a, not shadow a shadow person. person. Oh, that's yeah. the... It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. That's the uh, password to her computer. Can't run. Okay. Um, shadow person. Cool. Worlds of Secrecy. That's a cool background. July 7th, 2018. Saturday. Battery, 33%. Um. <laughs> oh, of course, the cat pictures. That's good. One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? They're taking over the she world. Said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. I do not. When Bumblebee, Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. You guys share I a could room? never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. If Trevor's doing all those bad things, why did you stay with him? Please help me. That sucks when your pet goes missing. Marie. Whoa. What were you thinking? You know that's illegal. I want that one or that one. Well, maybe not that one. That one or that one. <laughs> See, that would be more uh, knives. It would be more my style. I'll leave that one open. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act? For Christ's sake. If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Uh, cause that's a way of humans? Alright. Hi Marie, it grieves me to hear this is how you feel, but I'm afraid that's not, not much I can do at this stage. I understand you're alarmed and feel unsafe, 
But Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can set up a cons conversation between the two. Let me know when you're ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kindly regards, Principal Phillips. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, when I was being bullied, I used to tell the teachers, but they didn't do anything. And the principal didn't do anything because I was the only witness. So they wouldn't take my word for it. They don't do anything. And then at that point, it's like, what's the point of me telling anyone? Because it doesn't no. change anything. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? Ooh. No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Ever stalking you. Okay, I guess that's everything here. Hmm. Yeah, it sucks that... Like, you have to have proof, and you have to have someone see it in order for someone to stop what's happening. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After ah, the robbery, he beer. only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. Ah. All that happened later that night? I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Spin the bottle. Alright, so something happened to Marie. Your boyfriend was the cause, but I'm curious to know if if you were part of it. Alright, and I still haven't figured out what the case is number is to. Maybe it's in the journal? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go to the very back. Okay, so Food rescue, last help, high school kids save classmates from hunger. Cool. After school article, people kept asking me why did I do it? As if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I kept telling them the same story. Ain't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich into his face, our eyes locked. He panicked and dropped the sandwich and won. I never realized some of the classmates actu were actually hungry. So I fa so I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end. Everyone satisfied? Yes, I'm very satisfied. February 21st, 2017. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think sh she's all pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers from the Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I love for us to be friends. She's amazing. Can't wait to start working on our school project. Science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. Whoosh! Oh, that's cool. Ah! December 4th, 2017. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kinsley hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or anything. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked like me. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. Now we're behind the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Ah, good. Keep school your priority. <laughs> December 20... I was about to say 2020. 22! 2017. Just stop! Why do I keep writing this shit? I know this isn't... There isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it has been ages. Not literally, but you know they're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can't... So I can forget the whole awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. The truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped, and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out. I swear, I think I could have killed him. But another, but the other one got to me before I could even know there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. I'm not fearless. Hmm. Interesting. I was always, like, my thing growing up, like, I was taught, like, if someone threatening your family, like, you don't mess around. Whoever's trying to hurt you or hurt a member of your family, you don't mess around. You don't, like, threaten to call the cops. You immediately put them down, and you put them down hard. You make sure that they cannot get up before you do anything else. July 5th, 2018. We're all, 
we're all just matter. That's what Kinsley keeps saying. And she's right, but matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She like to be she likes to be out on a limb. She says she's not going to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess I'll show me to believe that we're friends. Guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Life matters. Loving the chemistry. July 10th, 2018. I love cats because they're not afraid to be different. Oh boy, are they not afraid to be different. Last night, my cat, uh, Pippin. Um, I have a nightstand by my bed and I normally holds like, my phone and a flashlight and, uh, my lamp and then my controller for my fan. So last night, he pushed all my stuff off of my nightstand, except, of course, for my lap, which I'm happy for because it would have broke. But he pushed all my little stuff off and I slept there all night. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna make room for myself. Oh, he's such a character. Oh, uh, and then when I woke up this morning, he was, um, I put it up on my social media, but he was actually using my curtains as like a blanket. <laughs> I don't know why. He needs to be hot. He's a very thick coat. Um, January 2018. January 28, 2018. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all Kinsley's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. I would hate that. He is such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all around. Kinsey, the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you could imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do it all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself. Yet. Beep beep. That sucks. Like, if you can get out by yourself, you should. You shouldn't. Like, with me, like, I would hate if someone kept on, like, buying myself. Like, even with my little brother, he'll buy me stuff, but I make sure, that, like, I either pay him back or I buy stuff that he wants so that way we kind of stay even. Like, if he buys lunch one day, I'll buy lunch the next day or I'll buy him, like, a music CD or something he wants. So we always try to keep even with each other so that way one doesn't feel like, you know, you're taken advantage of. February 14, 2018. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally get to see La La Land. They showed it on Classic Night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kenzie was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her. She pushed me away, asked me what I thought I was doing. And then that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. Ah, oh, that sucks. I had a friend like that. Well, I, I use the friend very, very loosely here. Like, I thought she was my friend, but she actually wasn't. She was just using me, and I didn't see that at the time. It wasn't until, like, a couple years later that I realized I had been extremely stupid in thinking that. And it sucks. Like, I learned at a very, very young age that kids... Well, humans in general, but kids especially, are cruel. They are cruel if you're different, and they are cruel if you are not smart enough to realize that they do not give a crap about you. I say with a smile, ooh, we're going to be friends, alright? So there's still more stuff I haven't found. Uh, March 17, 2018. Ooh, the sparkly shoes. Ugh. She wears them all the time. Last night the hills dug into my calf. That friggin' hurt. Have you seen these heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her, not in the bed. She was amused. I couldn't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9 because they would look fabulously gorgeous. On uh, Kinsley's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mom's shoes. I could not catch me dead in a pair of high heels. March 17, 2018. Some of these are really hard to read. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' pound. Ha! Huh. Only when I get berserk, like when Kenzie threw that rock through my window that it's hard to keep up. Why did you throw a rock through our window? You know that as a little girl I used to curse abruptly? Trying to expand my vocabulary here. Dad thought it in induced intelligence and I guess it looks cute up to a certain age but he said mom hated it so every time I used the F word he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar can't you tell can't tell you how much that hurt every time because I never saw it again I think he secretly ate it he must have rejoiced yep vocabulary expansion again every time I swear like a man man mad woman must have the Effin swear jar. 
She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. I don't get, like... Like, I felt invisible in my life, and I don't know if that's what she means by shadow person, but you shouldn't base who you are off of someone else. You should just be who you are, and if people don't like it, well, then too bad for them. They don't need to be in your life. April 9th, 2018. Kinsey is so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I got it. We're all different stories to tell. Yes, we do. So, as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she can do anything she wanted, and she just had to make it happen. Now, not wait for it. Those are true. I told her to deal again, not drugs, the cards. Which I think is a fabulous idea. April 11, 2018. Kenzie broke up with Trevor. Finally! Thank God. She can do as much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen. But he literally tore the shirt, the clothes from her body. F! I promise I swear, so that's where you go. But she's done with him now. Things only get better. Alright, and when I read that one... May 19th, 2018. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five? That's what you consider a good day? I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that. It keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hall this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I didn't tell Tinsley these things. She shouldn't worry. If you're getting that threats that's definitely the time when you tell someone. Did you not? I mean, you had the emails. Could you not have gone to someone? Kinsey took me swim. <sighs> Kinsey took me swimming in Mr. John's pool. I was scared shitless the first time. But ah, two bears and a fresh picked oranges. Chilled, best night ever. July 7, 2018, it took me forever to convince Kinsley to ride a bike because it ain't cool. A ride there, the best part of our day now, and on the days we ride through Mr. John's Orange Grove in broad daylight, we get home with a basket full of juicy golden oranges. I don't even think about getting caught. <laughs> okay. Um, June 12th. They're not listening. I tried... Every authority at school, I even tried to cough, but they just pat my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on head to do her any good. Fuck! Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy! What should I do? I wish I could tell Kinsey, but she's gone insane and got herself hurt. Or worse, gone back to him. Trevor is dangerous. June 23rd. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. I will never believe me, and I I don't think I'll see Bumblebee again. Ugh, why'd you gotta mess with the cat, man? I can't stand and watch. I'll have to be fierce. I found a site where you can buy guns off of anyone. Not that I meant to shoot anyone, it's just I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there is this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. And I mean I'm out of town somewhere. A little shady I might, but with, Tre with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. You just go to a flea market. I mean, they don't register those anymore. Um, June 30th, 2019. Bad news! It's been- there's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think tr it's Trevor. Suppose it's him in our house? Could have been. I couldn't wrap my mind or my head around it. It's too big, but Kinsey says it isn't true that Trevor is a bastard, but who never committed such a virus acts. Violent acts. Look at the torn shirt. I think she might be in a denial there. Uh, yeah, I think she might did it. be. I did it. I hope I'm not regretting this. Oh, she bought the gun. Okay. I think that's what that means. We need this. Beer, water, oranges. Uh, yeah, I read that one. Alright, so I'm missing... I don't know if there's something down here, but I'm missing an entire page. And none of that... Gave... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um... So, four, nine, five, four, nine, five, one. Is that the password for the combination? Uh, I need to find the key. Four, five figure number. Nine. Ah, no, I thought it was five, one. Wrong combination. 
Wrong. She must. Wrong. Come. She must. God. She must. She must. She must have. Wrong. All right. So those fourth ones are wrong. Okay. So I'm still missing a whole. Still missing a lot. I think. What else have I not clicked on? Uh, did the TV? Did the phone? Rubik's cube? Did something up here? I did the basket. Did the poster? Did the pictures? There's something else on the computer I missed. Um. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Damn, what? what's the password again? I need to find it. There we go. Okay, I spelled it wrong. So this was just the cat. This was one day. I... Yeah, pictures Marie. of cats and the gun. I'm thinking. Is there something else Why I missed? Someone need to get her. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? Okay, I can't no scroll. No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Okay. So, nothing on the computer. Oh, drawer? Hey! Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Ooh, that's cool. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Sucks you had a hard life, but at the same time... Wait, was... Did I do the record player? No, I did not. Anything good on? Oh, sunglasses. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. That you had a black guy because your boyfriend's a dick? Mm, Alright, I'm still missing a case, so... Did that fill out... The rest of this... Oh, happy birthday, Mom! Did those, yeah, so I'm still missing. Wait, was that? These are good times to make me forget all my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute, is that a song? Probably. Um, okay, so I'm still. I'm gonna turn this off just in case that's copyrighted. Don't want to deal with the copyright. So what? What have I not clicked on? Whoa! Something down here. Finals. I'm missing an entire page. It seems something like I should know. Or did the swear jar stone? Ah, stone. I don't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. That you broke her window? Ah, She was my friend, go. and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone I'm as a souvenir sorry. to remind her not to trust me ever again. Because you broke her window? Um, all right, so I read all that, read all that, long game. read that, read that, oh, here we go. I feel out of place everywhere outside this room. She said she was sorry. I know, but fuck, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She does not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't forget. Okay, I calmed down a bit. That la la 
Land Knight was she was with Trevor. And he is such a fucking asshole. She's different than when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. But she could but she did come straight over and tell me she's sorry. She knows she's wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since, but doesn't have anywhere else to go really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here right now as I write this. She's on the bed going over some notes for class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. Huh. Alright, so this says I have 1 out of 2, so am I missing something here? Because this... I don't know, because that's page 1 out of 2, last hope. Alright. So... Am I miss I'm still missing something out on this pages? I don't know what the... I thought it'd be the 1-5 because of those big... Like, because they're really circled. Maybe I put them in the wrong order or something? I think- cause I think all I really have left is the case. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything. Is there- but she should've blamed him. Another number that's her, highlighted? It's highlighted out here? Would be the combination. Think like a ocean and stay positive. I don't think that's what that says, but we're going with it. Alright, so we have. See, I still think it has something to do with 4951, but it's not a big enough number, and maybe I just put them in the wrong order? I need to find the key. Maybe it's a five figure number. Wait, is it the are the dates? Is this going in order by dates? So this happened on the fourteenth No, that's seventeen. Fourteen, seventeen, nineteen. So is the password um four seven nine another seven? One maybe? I don't know. What is the code, Murray? Wait, the journal. It must be in the journal. Yeah, I've looked in the journal. She must have written it down here. Uh, am I still missing stuff? Is that why it's not in there? I write it... Wait, maybe it's... Um... What is the code, Murray? Wait, the journal. I know! It must be Four, in the nine, journal. Five, one. She must have written it. Damn it! I must still be missing something. Maybe here is supposed to have something? Bone, case, swimsuit, shopping bag? She no, I did the shopping bag. She girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Ah, bike helmet, okay. I couldn't Was afford missing a car, stuff. and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. Hey, nothing I wrong I with that. Silly. And with those okay. damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, okay, I was, I was losing my stuff. glamour status at school right there. I don't blame you. I don't want a car either. I have my driver's permit, but I really don't have a desire to my learn. Green eatery, green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But. Some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Huh. Food rescue. Marie Torres. Yeah, it was Volunteer. a good place to be until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. I hate Betty. Alright, that's all better. 
<coughs> ah. Okay, so th there's the three we're missing. We had a party today celebrating three years of the food rescue. Everyone was there, all these happy family faces. Love it. Kinsley came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knew my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. It surprises me is all, and I can see the shame in her eyes when she stepped to the bag of groceries for me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. If the world allows people like Kinsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I got. Doesn't sound like pity. Alright, so... Is that all that was added? Alright, so we have three, four, nine, five, and a one. Alright, so... What is the code, Marie? Three, four, nine, Wait. five, one. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. <laughs> what oh was that? <laughs> Yay! Good work, Kelsey. I do it. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Ooh. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with Anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Good Marie thinking. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. Oh, that's when you go for it. Guy and kick he his head in. Head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Did you hear? Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. Really? We got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. Really? I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, 
and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her, she screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... About to say, what do you think should you remember pull that trigger. Not necessarily what really happened, or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. One had good because she's defending herself. On the other hand, Kinsey, what the fuck? Why would you rob the house that you were staying at and that was your friend? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. <sighs> Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Oh. Bring the journal. So they were friends even after that. That's cool. I really like how they did that, like, pixel, um... That pixel for that story part. Her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. That's cool you guys stayed friends even after all that crap. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver. And see guilt and trip. my ass off in that tin can of a car. Good! Sounds like you need to make up for crap. That was cool. Oh, I like that. That was a fun short game. I really like the style of that too. Like a, a lot of it was just looking around, but that last part with the the pixels that was cool. That was a cool way to tell the ending of the story. I'm glad it, it kind of showed that Marie and Kinsey stayed friends afterwards. That was nice. I like games like this. A little fun, a little story. I like the music too. The music is fabulous. Oh. Yeah, you gotta sit through the cutscenes, but like I really like it. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game. It's also free on Steam if you guys want to go play it for yourself. Oh, that was fun. I like that. I like the art style. I like the concept too. That was really good. Uh, but like I said, this is free on Steam, so if you guys want to try it, it's down in the link description, as always. Down there. Down that way. Um. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you warriors later.